What is up guys my name is Sam World and today we're gonna be doing a remix or kind of like the break and I guess try and do the drop for a remix of Dua Lipa's uh, new rules now um, Ollie James uh, did one for one kiss in fact he made a video and that's what really inspired me to make this one for you guys so we're gonna be going into that today I have a saw in so we're gonna figure out the notes for this or how we go about it and getting this so let's get straight into it guys so I downloaded the acapella already um, from a YouTube channel called um, I think it's called MS Acapella. It has like 120k subscribers. That's where most people are getting their acapellas though, so keep that in mind. I couldn't find the one kiss one. I guess it got taken down, so we're not gonna be able to do the same one Ali did. But we are gonna be doing one um, for this. So the first thing I like to do is I look up Dua Lipa, and then I like to look up, you know, New Rules, and then I'll look up the BPM of it so I know the, what BPM the vocal is in. So here you can see song and key BPM. Uh, I've gotten this one before so we can see the song is an A minor. It's in a BPM of 116 now another thing too is if you suck at um, At doing chords for vocals you can always look up also the the piano the original chords um, Here we go this one and you can um, <clears throat> And then you can just copy it straight down to the bone uh, The cool thing about these is that they'll give you the chords that they're using as well as the top line melody So here we go. Duh, duh. So it looks like it's a very simple progression, boys. It's just A, G, and then down to F. And then F again. Go up. Boom, boom. Very generic. Yeah, so it seems to be like that's the progression all the way through. So let's bring in the vocal um, real fast in here. It's got an MP3 for it. Let me go in. You side, you able to have the vocal. Talking in my sleep and so if we line it up. And we saw the melody. The melody starts right on the chord, so that means the vocal needs to start right on the beat. So that's what we're going to be doing to it. Um, so let's just bring that in here. And I think I'll start it here. Talking in my sleep at night, making my so, so we're going to unwarp it. We're going to go to 116 BPM, which we're already at. We're going to warp it there. And then we're going to go up to 128. Usually that gives us the best representation of warping that we can get. Um, and that is gonna, you know, only be applicable if it follows the rule of four or the one fourth, uh, one, two, three, four measure, not like, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six measure. Um, so what we're gonna do is start on A because obviously that's where the chord progression is. Talking. So go down all the way. Talking in my, talking in my, talk. We're gonna put it into Complex Pro as well. My love, he makes it feel like nobody else, nobody else. But my love. Alright, so let's see. Maybe here? We can have it like maybe there. Okay, we gotta go in a little bit deeper. And now I want to do like a progression for this. So let's see if we can do something uh, that will sound. One, 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 okay. All right, so what we're gonna do is put CLA vocals on that vocal and maybe change the way it sounds to negative 12 so it has a different vibe than the original. Hopefully, I don't get copyrighted. Talking in my sleep at night, making myself crazy. Wrote it down and read it out, hoping it would 
Some demonic demons came out, bro. Alright, and then we're gonna mess with that foreman. Talking in my sleep at night, making myself crazy. Out of my mind, out of my mind. Hold it down and read it out, hoping it would save me. Too many times, too many times. Oh, he makes it feel like nobody else. Let's put some clops and we are going to be using the Festival Revolution pack for this, guys, which comes out tomorrow or Friday, depending on when the video comes out. But it comes out Friday, June 8th, all right? So we're going to go here with some clops. I like it like this better. Alright, I'm gonna add another layer to these chords um, from the pack. It's a super sauce of hell. It's gonna make it sound so anthemic right now, and then we're gonna get them mesh to, to mesh well together. And then here's where the buildup's gonna happen. So I'm just gonna draft everything right now. And we're gonna make this build up very easily with this pack. All we really need is just the fills, snare rolls. So we can start it there, obviously. Alright, cool. And let me get like a uh, FX drop, FX impact of hell. Yeah, that one's gonna be dope there. It's going fast with this. You ain't no him. I got no rules, I count him. I'm gonna add like a little quick thing to this uh, a, a gate, because I did that yesterday to a song and I thought it sounded dope. So I'm gonna add it to this one as well. Okay, that's what we're gonna do to it. Um, automation, and then we're just gonna turn it on here. It'll go good with us. Uh, Alright, cool, cool, cool. Let's keep going. We're gonna uh, apply a downlifter, of course. We want all these elements. Yeah, we're going like something like that to fill it up. We're gonna do a reverse on this as well. Let's uh, get it maybe like that. There we go. We gotta unwarp it. I don't know why Ableton does that at times. So rough drafts coming out pretty good. Let's do a bit of a higher here effects with an uplifter. People text. Yeah, we're gonna use that one here. We're gonna put this down one octave. Okay, cool. Talking in my sleep at night. I think it would be dope to have maybe the the eight chord play there, um, ta -ta 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 -ta, or something like that, to um, let us finish it. You know. There you go, something like that. 
And we're gonna group that. Uh, I kind of want to make it more interesting, so I'll add like a filtering to it so that it, it, it kind of has a different vibe. So it's not so in my face. So we're gonna turn that on here. Uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, boom. Boom. And then we're gonna automate this. And then we're gonna do that here. And then duplicate that again. Obviously, duplicate it there. And then, boom, bitch, get the fuck out of here. All right, so we got that. We got that. Um, so boom, boom, bitch, get out the way. All right, so you guys get the idea. Let's add a snare fill as well from the Festival Revolution Volume 2, guys. Keep it simple. I like that one. Okay, and there we need like a reverse as well. Okay, and then uh, what else do we need? I think like a little crash would do good so we can get those again crashes there we go and we're just gonna eq this down like lower the okay and then i'm gonna control j that Fucking asshole. Um, someone came in. Uh, all right. So <laughs> calling them an asshole. All right. And then we're just going to pitch that up, obviously. And so we're here. And then here, let's see if we can automate. And this needs to be here. I think I'm gonna le leave that filter on because it'll make. Cool, 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 cool. So, yeah, there we go. Alright, so we do need to cue the saws a bit so they're a little bit more cleaner. You got two fucking saws, so you're gonna have to give each one a roll. One of these will be down here. There we go. I'm gonna add a bass as well. Um, doesn't need to be anything big, but just something to give backbone to it on the when it hits, so it hits a little bit harder. Um, we're not doing those, uh, load, uh, and we're going to load up the pack again. I think, uh, darkness might be good. We'll check it right now.
I'm gonna make one of these go up by negative two down. Uh, da -da -da -da. Okay, they're all negative two now. Okay, so one octave up. And we're also gonna pitch this guy up. Um, so we're bridging the the break and the build up because we're using the same sounds in in both of them. So you're gonna hear them in the build up, and that's really gonna bridge it really good, add a lot of more content, so it has more depth. And at the same time, we're gonna have another lead on top once we make the drop, filtering in. So let's move this down here. Okay, cool, cool. All right, dope, dope, dope. Um, so let's add a kick. Let's we'll get the rough draft of the drop. And then we'll um, continue with the break. Um, as that's going to be, I think, the harder part, trying to get sounds that work with the vocal rather than just sound like the vocal's on top of it. Okay, so we need a kick. I'm going to go with the normal ones. The big room kicks here are going to be a little bit different. Um, so I added a normal one just in case people don't like them. Uh, so I'm going to go with these. There we go. Key of A. Okay, just going. I'm gonna make this go out on the beat. Cause I don't like the way it lines up. There we go. This is where fades come in handy. There we go. All right, dope. Let's get a lead in there. We need some guy to take it for the team to get a sick ass drop. So that's what we're gonna be doing. That load the bad boy up and find a lead um, that we can. Play it safe and use a simple one that we can kind of mix a little bit easier. Okay, um, in fact, I'm gonna use the drop MIDI tools, which you guys can download for free from the website, and we're gonna go from there. And let's see the day Nah, let's. Try. Alright, so we're going to keep it very generic for this, uh, so we're going to go low A. Okay, let's see. Uh
going to come in over here. I don't think it sounds good there as a fill with the lead playing on top. So that's, that will come in over here. Okay, add another layer, which is going to be more of a stereo layer since this one seems to be in mono. Let's see if we can add it. Okay, that should be good. Standard, you know, camel crush the bad boy uh, to get it to a uh, big. A little bit of glue to get it to mesh well together. Gonna EQ. And you always want to boost around 500 hertz to give it more body if you feel it's needed. Sometimes it might not be, but a lot of the times it is. And, it, and you'll know it's needed because it sounds a bit different. And we're gonna get rid of the reverb because that's giving a lot of stuff we don't need Gonna pick a lead that's more. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, like that generic. Um, there we go. I'm gonna make a bus where I'm gonna be putting, you know, just a standard compression, which will get pretty much just compressed to hell. And we're gonna route the lead into it so that way it sticks out a bit more. And we're doing that to the mono lead, not the stereo one. Gonna get rid of makeup. Okay, LFO on that. Uh, LFO tool, just a little bit here and there. All right, that's dope. I'm not sure if this is working in my favor right now, so that's why I'm a bit iffy on this. So let's see if we get rid We're gonna put an auto filter on the leads, obviously. Okay, and then we're gonna And then I'm a duplicator Yo, this sounds so fucking gay though because of the vocals of the go We're gonna put endless mall on the master baby because that's how we do it in here. Um, plus, it makes our life a lot easier. Uh, so we're gonna do that there, and we're gonna do this to it. So we can see that. Sounds out of key.
I like how these don't dun, so I want the kick to hit with that to accentuate it, obviously. Boom, boom, boom. So, fuck, you're going too far, bro. There we go. has to do it again all right so we're gonna add a quick little master just to help us out here I like this one, uh, let's do We're gonna lower these down a bit. Uh. Just grabbing onto it. You see what it does? It just gets it and meshes it really well together. Um, so with that, you know, we could do a little bit of Fat Filter Saturn. I'm a little bit scared of it though, because I do like a preset in there called the the Hip Hop Puncher. Oh, it makes shit loud. I'm letting you know right now. So just a little, a little warning. For you guys, uh, I'm gonna go with Fat Filter Pro as well. <laughs> Fucking loud. All right, so we're gonna lower the volume here a bit on this guy by maybe three. Alright, we're gonna use WLM on that bad boy. We just wanna see how loud we are. Shit, we ain't even reaching the loudness meter, man. Guys, if you can't hear my voice and shit like that after this, I'm sorry. There we go. Okay, we got it. Um, so now I just want to get this to sound a little bit more exciting. So let's get some brass stabs in this bitch. Uh, man, I, I'm so, yeah. Um, so we go to stabs. Oh, we got that A, baby. We got that A. So we're just going to go in there, pull that around there. Lower volume. I'm going to do it again. Yeah, there we go. Gotta add some noise, some white noise, and then I'm gonna create a bit of a reverb from the vocal to have it in the background. So again, it adds more more depth to it and it makes it sound fuller. So let's see, um, what was I gonna do right now? Oh yeah, effects, white noises. I like that one. And then we're just going to apply a LFO tool on it to get it to have that vibe. Not too much, to the point where it's like... <laughs> okay, 
Okay, uh, now the atmosphere, we're gonna grab the vocal. Um, let's grab this one. God damn automation fuckers. I you know we good. Cue it a bit. We're gonna freeze it and then we're gonna flatten it so that we get that vibe. What the fuck happened? Okay, and then we're gonna drop that into our atmosphere and we're just gonna repeat it every two bars maybe. There we go. Um, I look for tool that just a tiny bit. Okay, um, let's see, negative maybe 12 on that. And we're gonna pitch this one down as well. Gotta go into complex for that though. And and we're gonna make her sound a little a little like a man. So It has to keep doing that. Uh. And then we can use the same fill we used over here for the saws there. So it'll sound pretty cool. Oh yeah. Where the fuck is it? Oh, it's right here. <laughs> oh, fuck. Let's get everything though. Control man, see that, and we're gonna put it over here. Oh my god, dude. I don't know what the hell's going on. Alright, um, there we go. Alright, so it's a bit out of key because of this. And then we go back into it. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, what else can we add to this drop? Obviously, perks. So I just did a tutorial on, on percussive perks like, um, uh, what's her name? Uh, Kevu. So we could do that. Let's have them happen every year. Yeah? And let's use a sampler for that. So the sampler is really going to help us in um, getting this to sound really dope. Um, let's go back to the bad boy pack. The biggest big room pack ever. Comes out Friday again. I know I'm selling. Let's go into percussion. I know I have some toms in there. There we go. There we go. There we go. So that's those are really gonna help. And uh, da, 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 da. 
higher uh, maybe widen it as well we're gonna use the wider fucking wider from uh, polyverse that one really does give really good width to it without ruining the integrity of the sound and then we're gonna cue that a bit uh, get rid of lows on Gotta add a downlifter. I think I'll go with the same one. Alright, so that'll be our drop. Don't want to stay here all day, guys, but just to show you guys some simple tricks, some simple tips to get your drops to sound pretty good you know with a bit of work i think it's been like 20 30 minutes in so far we we did the drop in like what 10 minutes so or 15 minutes so that's kind of like the stuff you want to keep adding you can add more variation to the drop lead do cool stuff like that okay so then we're gonna go into the break and try and figure out something for this drop so we know it starts like so we're gonna start with a respace on that, we're going to go with Silent One on this. And we do have that vocal that we made, the atmosphere, so we could probably use that as well. For this, I'm just going to initialize it. You don't need no preset for this shit, man. Talking in my sleep at night, making myself crazy. Out of my mind, out of my mind. Okay, so lower it Talking in my sleep at night, making myself crazy. Wrote it down and read it out, hoping it would save me. Don't sleep at night. Talking in my sleep at night, making myself crazy. Out of my mind, out of my mind. Wrote it down and read it out. Let's put a bit of reverb on it too, um, so it doesn't sound so much like we got the. Talking in my sleep at night, making myself crazy. Out of my mind, out of my mind. Wrote it down and read it out, hoping it would save me. So many times, so many times. My love, he makes it feel like nobody else, nobody else. But my love, he doesn't love me, so I tell myself, I tell myself. Don't pick up the phone. He doesn't love me, so I tell myself. I tell myself. One, don't pick up the phone. You know he's only calling because he's drunk and alone, too. Okay, cool. Talking in my sleep at night, making. Let's use that impact here. We're gonna filter in this vocal so that it's not so open like right off the bat because it just sounds so wrong right as like it's just <laughs> so we're just gonna do that to it maybe uh, uh.
Talking in my sleep at night, making myself c Talking in my Talking in my sleep at night Talking in my sleep at night, making myself crazy Out of my mind, out of my mind Wrote it down and read it out, hoping it would save me Maybe we can add like a little arp in the background that follows the the pad or, or sorry the the vocal because I kind of want to make it fuller, not too full, but just give it something you know like a little bit more like ooh what's that sound coming in bro? Um, something like that would be nice. Um, I do have a couple of leads that are very atmospheric. I think Picard's flu. That's the one I want. I called it Picard's flu. I don't even know who Picard is, but. Talking in my sleep at night, making myself crazy. Out of my mind. Talking in my sleep at night, make talking in my sleep at night, making myself crazy. Okay, let's put an ARP on it. Uh, he doesn't love me, so what? Mm. Talking in my sleep. Talking in my sleep at night, making myself crazy. Talking in my sleep at night, making myself crazy. Out of my mind, out of my Let's make it higher octave. That's Talking in my sleep at night, making myself crazy. Out of my mind, out of my mind. Wrote it down. Talking in my sleep at night, making myself crazy. Out of my mind, out of my mind. Wrote it down and talking in my sleep at night, making myself crazy. Talking in my sleep at night, making myself crazy. Out of my mind, out of my mind. Wrote it down and read it out, hoping it would save me. So many times. Put it in the background, like you don't really want to tell it's there, but just have it a little. I think that will be good. Talking in my sleep at night, making myself crazy. Out of my mind, out of my mind. Wrote it down and read it. We're gonna put a bit of rights um, to just give it more, more of that feel. Uh, slower. Okay, so we just need to get these to sound a little bit cleaner still. I think these are the ones that are the culprit. Uh, mono this bass down to one. There we go. That's more for a drop, but we still. Can there we go. Maybe I can keep this. Down. Okay, let's see. Boom. One, don't pick one. 
Alright, so how can we make this work a bit better? Let's use a spectrum on the vocal to see what it's taking up. It's like the center of it, so what we can do is maybe do a bit of mid-side EQ on this. So that we don't get the... Uh, yeah. So, M mono, 400. So we make room for the... I like the, sn the snare build, but it has that nasty white noise on it. Get rid of I guess here we would have the notes be the same on this. All right, dope, dope. So I like the way that kind of sounds. Very rough draft, very rough draft, guys, as you can see. Don't pick up the phone. Oh god. That's what I hate about Ableton, the the pitch Don't pick up the phone. You know he's only calling cuz he's drunk and alone. Don't let him in. You have to get him out again. All right, so let me go into normal mode cuz right now I'm running Sonar work, so you guys are hearing a different version than I am. But we're going to put this on now just to see how it sounds like and then that's going to be it. Don't pick up the phone. You know he's only calling cuz he's drunk and alone. Two. Alright guys, so that is going to be my rough draft of this song. <laughs> um, we can definitely keep going with it, make it sound a bit better in the break, a little bit more work on the drop to get the leads a little bit more in the face. But I wanted to show you guys this just to show you guys how, you know, like how you can start a remix, how you can do various things, all the things you have at your disposal. 
So a lot of the sounds here, guys, most of them are from the brand new uh, Festival Revolution Volume 2 pack, which is going to be coming out on Friday, June 8th. Uh, so if you guys want to support the channel and you like the quality of the sounds, if you like the sounds themselves, if you're looking for these type of sounds, make sure to check it out. It will come with a Silent One sound bank, a Serum sound bank that we didn't use here, but it's going to be all vocal based, all noise based. And it's going to come as well with a sample pack, MIDI tools like you guys saw that we can use. So make sure to be on the lookout for it. And if you want to download some of the freebies, stake. You know, I'll put them in the description link down below. But you guys take care. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, the process of it. And I'll see you guys next time. You guys take care again. I'm running out of time here. I have a session with a student, so I had to end it here. But you guys have a good one. Plus, I have to take a popo. All right, guys. Peace out.